Well, bless the Lord, brothers and sisters. I'm back yet again with another message. I have a special guest. It's the one and only, my husband, Mr. James Hicks. Hi, honey. Hey, praise the Lord, my brothers and sisters. <laughs> uh, my name is James. Yes, yes. Uh, James Hicks, and it's a pleasure to um, share the Word of God with you uh, today and to also share um, a word of wisdom with you because wisdom yes. is the principal thing. The Word of God says, in all thy getting, get wisdom and get understanding. No. So I'm just going to be um, opening up uh, with, of course, the Word of God in uh, Proverbs chapter 1, uh, verses 20. Uh, going all the way up until uh, verses 33. Amen? Amen. Amen. Uh, so verse 20, Proverbs 1, verse 20. Uh, Wisdom cries in the streets. Wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates. In the city she uttereth her words, saying, How long? Ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and the fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. In other words, turn you at my correction. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. And this is God talking, by the way. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called, and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand, and no one regarded. Uh. So in other words, God stretched out his hand, trying to share wisdom, trying to give you wisdom. Wow. But as opposed to you taking his hand mm -hmm. and taking the wisdom that he's trying to give you from his hand, you refused it. Wow. You disregarded it. But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and with none of my reproof. So in other words, God is saying... As opposed to you taking my reproof, which is another word for correction, you refused it. You didn't want to take correction. You thought your way was better than my ways. You thought you know more than what I know. And this is God talking. But ye have set at naught all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh. Uh. And this is God talking. This is God talking, brothers and sisters. Hear this. I also will laugh at your calamity. Wow. I will mock when your fear cometh. So in other words, God is saying here in verse 26 that when you go through trials and tribulations, you know, in any area of life, God will laugh in that situation. Wow. So when your trials and, and tribulations come because you didn't want to listen uh. to wise counsel because you despise reproof and correction, He's going to laugh at your calamity. He's going to laugh in your situation. He's going to mock when the situation comes. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come in, cometh upon you, uh, 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 then, then shall they call upon me. But I will not answer. You know, They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. So God is saying... Uh, it's not until you start going through Look at that. learning the hard way because you didn't want to learn the easy way. So when you, you so, so now you got to learn the hard way by going through this trial, this tribulation. Then, then you will call upon me, the Lord. And honey, you know what I was thinking about also? I was thinking about Noah when he talks about finally they get finally they get it. Like in other words, when Noah was warning the people come into the boat and get it right, so to speak. That it will rain. And they were laughing and mocking Noah. It wasn't until they saw right. the results, the cause and effect of what he was talking about and it being true, him being led by right. God. And it wasn't until they saw it that they listened. But God is trying to say, listen, you may not see situations blinded or you may not see something tangible. That's when you have to literally lean on God's faith and trust him anyhow. Because God's word does not come back void. In other words, you know, we have to approach the word of God as God's correction and God's, uh, you know, instruction and things of that nature. We have to embrace wisdom. We have to embrace his leadership. And we have to realize that God's word is true. 
And like I said, a lot of people, you know, speaking to that scripture that you uh, read in Proverbs in terms of, you know, them getting it finally. It's, it's, it's the 11th hour. They get it. And sometimes that's not good because you go through a lot of calamity in life and it's unnecessary calamity. Amen. 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 So let, let me just pick back up where I left off, brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. And this is verse 27. When your fear cometh as desolation mm. and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me and I will not answer. Oh. They shall seek me. They shall seek me in prayer, in other words, early, but they shall not find me. Wow. For they, for that they hated knowledge oh. and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Oh. See, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, brothers yes, and sisters. Yes, yes, yes. To fear the Lord is wisdom. It's wise to fear the Lord. In other words, fearing the Lord, you know, meaning that you um, reverence the Lord. Respect Him and you honor Him. You respect the Lord. You honor the Lord. Yes. You know, that, that's, that's what, uh, you know, God is saying here with the word fear, that you respect and honor the Lord. To honor the Lord is to uh, have wisdom. Yes. Um, it is foolish to mm. dishonor the Lord. It is foolish to disregard wisdom. Right. It is foolish to think your, your way wow. is better than God's way. And it's actually um, really prideful, really. That's it. It, it, it. It's prideful. Right. It's prideful because now, because you don't want to listen to God's word, mm. you don't want to take the correction, whether it be from your parents. Go ahead. If you're a teenager listening, if you don't want to take correction, from that wise correction from your father, mm. your grandmother, grandfather, or even your mother, or even from a teacher, or even from a manager, whether it's coming from a pastor, you think your way is better than their way or God's way. But wisdom is crying out. Wisdom is crying out. And you're not listening. And, and you have to listen. They were none of my counsel. They despised all of my reproof. Therefore shall they eat the fruit of their own way mm. and be filled with their own devices. So in other words, God is saying, now you got to learn the hard way. Look at that. Because you didn't want to learn the simple way by taking wise counsel. Guess what? Now you got to go out into this cold world, and now you would have to learn the hard way. Therefore, shall they eat the fruit of their own way. Because now you thought that your way was the best way, mm. and you felt as though my way <laughs> was was the wrong way. Isn't that why now, uh, the devil got kicked out of heaven? Exactly. Oh, Pride. okay. Okay. Pride. Exactly. I'm just checking. See, brothers and sisters... To hate wisdom is likened un unto witchcraft, God, and and it's a form of rebellion, isn't it? It's rebellion. Okay. You know, so just get this, brothers and sisters, because we're gonna get a little deeper. For the for the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearkeneth unto me, which is the Lord shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. Wow. So those who listen to wise counsel, mm. those who can take correction, mm. those who don't despise correction, they will have favor. And you know they what I saw? Favor of the Lord. Sorry to cut you off, baby. You know what I saw in the spirit when you was talking about the last part of what you said? I saw Jesus. I saw the, 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 the scene when Jesus was telling Peter, and blind, basically faith. Exactly. To walk out, to go and walk on water that is safe. You know what I mean? Exactly. And his unbelief and not listening to wisdom, which is God, caused him to doubt, caused him to fall. So we, brothers and sisters, and we're going to wrap it up. And I, like I said, I just thank God for this opportunity to share also with you and have my husband aboard. Amen. But brothers and sisters, all of us have to seek out wisdom and we have to recognize wisdom. It, it could come from a two-year-old, huh? It could come from an 18-year-old that's wise and rooted in God. 
key word, rooted in God. It could come from a 90-year-old. The bottom line is if it lines up with the word of God and you know God, the word of God, what it says, my sheep hear my voice. So you have to be keen. I mean, you have to be sensitive to the, the, the voice of the Lord. So brothers and sisters, again, embrace wisdom like a newborn baby. Embrace truth like a newborn baby. It takes humility. It starts out with being humble. Yes. If, if, if you're not humble, then it's going to be very difficult mm. for you to accept wisdom, for you to embrace wisdom, for you to uh, hearken unto, the, mm -hmm. unto wise counsel. Yes. It's going to be very difficult because now you're letting pride in mm. the way of your progress. It's you become success. your own you know, hindering block, hindering mm -hmm. block, in other words, yep. of, uh, you know, trying to get to where y you want to be at, whether it be spiritually, whether it be financially, whether it be professionally, maritally, because you can't take correction because you think your way is the best way. God's way is the best way. Amen. So bless the living God. We thank you for listening. And, uh, I pray that my husband, uh, comes and shares again more often. Bless the living God.